and be angel gang thanks for watching my youtube channel thanks for the love support um thanks so much y'all y'all been going up the charts y'all been doing very 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 good i know some people is here from the washington post um my honor was posted a couple of days ago this is her right here if you haven't got this or haven't seen it go purchase it it's only two dollars um you can go purchase it or you can actually watch it on the washington post website thank you guys for your donations and everything you all did for us my aunt is so happy she just like she's like oh my god i'm a star and she really really appreciate it i really want to give it some time i want to give like a year or two years you know to see progress or if i don't see any progress i might end up doing the um epidural stimulation thank you all so much for the love support everything the messages you all have been sending you guys are so awesome and i'm not gonna make this video too long i just wanted to really thank you all um i'm gonna show my honor so she can say you know thank you also thank you john for the story he's been really doing a good job with the story um shout out to him we've been working on the story for four to five months now i wasn't really going to do the story at first because i feel like no i don't want everybody you know to know or in her business which is already out there but you know um to get to actually know the real story and the real you know the real truth about everything or most of the things i wanted to do a story and not even only that i wanted to do the story for the moms who can't talk or who is scared to talk or who can't have disabilities or problems and i am their voice so they might be going through things and i'm here for them i'm here to be their voice i'm here to say it's okay to have like you know problems um with the kid and sometimes it's really stressful but um as a mom we do what we have to do um i hear a lot of people say i'm so strong i'm a good mother i know that for sure nobody can tell me different um like like a good mom okay so me as a mom like if she needs anything she needs her hair done i need my hair done i only have 120 she's going to choose her i always do i feel like if i get my hair done and my daughter have a ponytail in her hair it's okay to wear ponytails but i feel like you know uh she i just feel like oh my god you're a bad mom what are you doing <laughs> like i don't feel good about it if i get all dolled up my daughter's not clean and she's just looking like oh you know i i don't judge but i just can't see myself doing that it don't even have to be that it could be anything she need college funds she need ten thousand and i have ten thousand to give her she's gonna most likely get that ten thousand i'll most likely be broke i don't play about my child like anything that she needs she, she's gonna get it that's one thing about me i know i'm a good mom in heart because i know i put my child first with anything she have Gerber insurance she's gonna have life insurance you know I put her first mom not even I'm not even on life insurance or Gerber I don't have nobody cover my expenses I just put her first and that's I think that's what all moms should do one thing another thing about me um at Kennedy Kruger um her therapy they also say like a lot of people give up they just stop coming the moms don't usually go back for kids they don't believe in the kids they don't come back and me they said you really come back like you go every other day you're coming you're not playing you're gonna get you know so that's another thing i say i'm really very strong people say i'm very strong and how i deal with it and it's like you never really know how you're gonna deal with it until it happens to you or your family you never know how you're gonna react only when it happened you want to know so that's one thing i can say um i usually hear about kids getting shot um in newspapers and just on the news like i feel like i didn't know how i felt for it to happen but i know that that's your child and i used to have a picture in my mind that was my baby and it's like oh god and it and it really happened uh to my baby but uh another thing i wanted to say was some of the like most of the stuff in the story yes it was true um but i just wanted to say that one thing i heard i seen a story where say um like my on a peak you know like actually peaked and seen her like when i moved her leg like i told her move her leg and she peaked honestly my Anna doesn't like she doesn't peak she knows when she's moving her leg she know what i'm doing to her leg she knows and that's not because our mom thinks 
is happening is because I really know and I really see. I make sure I do things hot water, cold water to see if she knows and she feels it and she does. So that's what I do to see about the sensation. She can also have like low sensation. She could also have high sensation. She could also have cold, hot, you know, different sensations to different reactions to things. And um, she's been doing it very good. Like if I say, what's this? This is cold or hot water. She know exactly what I'm doing to her, tickling. I could be, you know, doing like this and she'll know. Um, another thing I seen, it says, I didn't believe that Mayana is going to be okay, like she's going to die. I honestly believe that my baby was going to make it. Not saying that I knew in heart she would. I just really prayed uh, at that moment. I was praying. I was just thinking hard. I was like, oh my God, I don't know. I really honestly didn't know if she would make it, but I didn't have a doubt in my mind she wouldn't make it. I didn't think, oh, she's going to die. I never thought that. Um, never, never thought that. I asked God to keep her here. I asked God to um, heal her and just have her with me. That's what I asked him and he did it. Like before, um, when before I had my own, I didn't know if I can have kids or not. Um, I kept trying to get pregnant, couldn't get pregnant. Uh, I wasn't trying, but it was, it was, if it happened, it happens. But honestly, I wasn't using protection to actually get pregnant. And um, I just think that God was like, it's not your time. Um, you know, so I think three years later or four years later, I popped up pregnant three months and I just didn't know and I was so happy. But you know what, before that, I was in the shower, kept crying, asking God why and am I going to ever have a child? I'm crying like, you know, I really want a child who I can love, take care of and be there for me and I'll be there for them. He didn't answer me right in the air. He's not going to do that. <laughs> He'll answer you whenever it's time. He'll know when it's time for you. And that's what he did. He gave me a baby. I was three months pregnant and I found out and I was like, oh my God, I'm three months. Like, no way I can get an abortion. My mom didn't know. She was like, oh, you want an abortion? I can pay for it. She was crying. I'm like, this is a really happy moment. I'm, I'm about 18, one of 19. You know, I'm very young. I should have finished school, like college before I even tried. But having her really makes me grind makes me go harder so i really don't have any regrets of having it i i would say next baby i should be on my feet which having a career with the next child i shouldn't just keep having more kids and more kids i mean there are blessings but you have to be financially stable before you even try to try to have another child or more kids that's what i think and you know you don't want your kids to grow up living off um nothing wrong with it but you don't want your kids to grow up living off section 8 or um help from the government well she's gonna see me because i'm gonna be something in life i'm gonna be something i'm not gonna even say anything until it happens the story was kind of good um that's about it that i wanted to say about the story when i even read the story it made me cry but cause even thinking about it because i have the picture in my head i have the picture of what really happened you can picture in your head but me i have the the stuff around and i have the whole picture because i was there i have the picture in my mind of what happened um, when she got into that hospital and they was doing surgery you can always still die but i just believe like oh it's gonna be okay i just kept pacing kept walking it's been like those couple of hours been like it felt like years to me like it was a long time but um i'm not gonna hold you all too much thanks so much for the support um like comment and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed um we're gonna have more videos coming out soon my Anna's gonna be you know doing more things and i love you guys so so much so much so much like <laughs> if i ever make it on youtube and get lots of money i'm going to give back <laughs> me and my Anna is going to give back period like that's the goal we're not gonna keep money we're not gonna you know we're gonna save but we're gonna give back to the community and we're gonna try everything we can do to give back but i just have to make it on youtube so i love you guys thank you so so much for supporting me supporting my family i love you all so much god bless you thanks um my aunt probably wants to say something so hold on guys yeah, I'm annoying her. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Come on. Ready, fight. Oh, come in. <laughs> well, I'm strong. Come here, you little cat Thank you. Oh. What? Hey, put your hand Are like we this. playing arm wrestle? Yeah. Okay.
Ready? Uh, I think I'm away. No. I oh. No, oh, you cheated. I Just mean, play. I wasn't even ready. Look, come here. Okay. Ready? And go. Yes. Psych! <laughs> Peach you. Wow. Uh, now you pushed me out of You won. Hey, do y'all want to fight? Come on, let's fight. Fight, uh, mommy. Uh, what are you going to do? I beat you. YouTube.